Hi everyone, I'm Sherry Steinbaugh, dietitian with Michigan Apple. Fall is here and it is my favorite time of the year. There's so many fun things to do outside with family and with friends. Have a bonfire, go for a hayride, go to a football game, and of course, visit an apple orchard, pick apples, eat a caramel apple, drink apple cider, and enjoy the many varieties of nutritious and delicious Michigan apples. And I also love to incorporate them into meals and entertaining this time of year. So I wanted to share a few of those ideas with you today. So first of all, we're gonna start with making an autumn apple cocktail. I started with a glass of ice, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a half a cup of Michigan apple cider to that ice. We are then going to add two tablespoons of bourbon or rum you could use. We're going to put in about a half a cup of a ginger flavored hard Michigan apple cider. And I always check on my label here and this one does say made with fresh Michigan apples. It's a nice local cider I found. We're gonna add about a half a cup of that to our glass. And then I'm gonna just put in a little squeeze of lemon juice and of course our lovely garnish, which is a couple of Michigan apple slices. Now, if you wanna make this into a mocktail, just omit the bourbon and uh, instead of the hard apple cider, you could use ginger beer and it's still going to be absolutely delicious. The other idea I had was really fun and this is I made a focaccia bread using Michigan apples. And to make it super easy, what I did is I took some frozen pizza dough that I thawed out and I incorporated into that about a cup of shredded apple. I used um, Gala apples for this one. I kept the skin on it, grated that up. Make sure you get all the moisture out of the apple before you incorporated it. It'll go in easier. And then you can see I decorated the top of that with Michigan apple slices and some fresh herbs. I've got some thyme and some sage on there. It turned out just beautiful. And that would be so delicious served with some soup or chili for a fall meal. The next idea I have is a grazing board and we're all loving the beautiful grazing boards that we see out there and it's so easy to make your own. So I've got some Michigan apple and a variety of cheese on my grazing board here. I've got some whole grain crackers and I put some jam and some apple butter, Michigan apple butter here as well. But Michigan apples pair so well with a variety of cheeses. My favorites, Honeycrisp, um, Fuji and Gala really go well with almost any kind of cheese. I've got a sharp cheddar cheese here, a brie cheese, and an herbed Havarti cheese on this board. And one hint, when you do go to the apple orchard, if they have a little market there or you're at the farmer's market, check out some of the um, spreads they have, like the apple butter. I found this one at a local market and I have it on my grazing board. It's absolutely delicious. And then finally, you can even use Michigan apples in your centerpiece to decorate. I simply took a glass vase here, I filled it with small Michigan apples and I put in some artificial fall leaves, you could put in dry leaves, whatever you have around the house, it just makes a great seasonal centerpiece. So I hope you enjoy Michigan apples in a lot of your fall entertaining and fun this year. And for more inspiration or to learn more about the varieties of Michigan apples, visit michiganapples.com.